Giant Mountain by Hans Wilhelm Once upon a time, when giants still roamed the earth, there was a small village that was plundered by a giant. Give me your coins and jewels, he roared, or I will eat you. The greedy giant took all of the frightened villagers' money, and great sadness fell upon the village. Then one day, a stranger came whistling down the road. He stopped at the inn for a bite to eat, and the villagers began to tell him their sad story of the greedy giant. When the stranger finished eating, he sat back in his chair and said, I think I can help you. How? asked the villagers. Give me fifty gold and silver coins, and I will bring back everything the giant has stolen. At first, the villagers were afraid to trust the stranger, but he was such a friendly fellow that they finally gave him their last fifty coins. The stranger took the sack of coins and a spade and went to the giant's cave. He began to dig shallow holes in the ground. Suddenly a dreadful voice boomed. What are you doing on my land? The stranger looked up and saw the angry face of the giant staring down at him. The stranger smiled calmly and said, I'm planting silver and gold coins. Why, this meadow has the finest soil in the world for growing money trees, the stranger told the giant. Let me plant my coins in your meadow, and at harvest time, we'll split the crop between us. The giant, who had never shared anything in his life, snatched the sack of coins and vanished over the hills and into his cave. My plan is working, said the stranger to himself. Then he hid in the woods and waited. Late that night, the giant returned with his huge chest of stolen coins and jewels, and he buried every single one in the meadow. As soon as the giant left, the stranger quickly dug up all the coins and jewels. Then he put them in a big sack and staggered back to the village. The villagers were so happily surprised that they celebrated for days and days, and when the stranger finally left them, they rewarded him handsomely. The greedy giant never bothered them again, for he was far too busy. Busy waiting for his many trees to grow, and where the giant sat patiently waiting is known to this day as Giant Mountain. Mm-hmm.